The best places to visit in South Carolina. The gorgeous state of South Carolina is bordered by Georgia, North Carolina, Tennessee and the Atlantic Ocean. Within its borders, you will find stunning beaches, national forests, thriving cities, traditional villages and plenty of southern charm. Coastal destinations are a top pick for many, but South Carolina is also a nature lover's dream getaway. As you plan your trip to the Palmetto State, be sure to check out this list of best places to visit in South Carolina. The central city of Columbia is the state capital, but historic Charleston is the center of charming antebellum streets and plantations with moss-covered ancient oaks. The state is also known as a premier golf destination in the United States. Columbia Many visitors take time to explore Columbia, the state capital of South Carolina and its largest city. The two biggest draws to the area include the Army base called Fort Jackson and the sprawling campus of the University of South Carolina. If you're interested in architecture and history that predates the Civil War, then check out the Hampton Preston Mansion and Gardens. In the heart of South Carolina, tradition and tomorrow pair perfectly in Columbia. With dynamic shopping, food and tons to see and do year-round, it's the real southern hotspot that will leave you looking forward to what's next. South Carolina Plantations Walking in some of South Carolina's 2,000-plus plantations is like entering a dream. The grand historic homes and spectacular grounds are scattered throughout the state. If you're planning a statewide plantation tour, or if you only have time for one stop, Put Charleston at the top of the list as it is home to some of the state's most beautiful properties. This was a tour of the Airy Hall Plantation. Caesars Head State Park. One of the most interesting and scenic spots in South Carolina is Caesars Head State Park. The park is situated in the northernmost part of the state, right on the border with North Carolina. Caesars Head itself is a gigantic rock formation that overlooks the entire Piedmont region below. Hiking is the most popular pastime at Caesars Head State Park, and shorter trails like the Raven Cliff Falls are an easy alternative for those who want a brief introduction to the landscape. Fishing, overnight camping and spotting hawks migrating in the fall are other amazing ways to experience the park. Pawleys Island Pawleys Island is situated in the Grand Strand region of South Carolina, right on the coast. 
This slice of paradise is a retreat where you can unwind, stay active and kick back on beautiful beaches. Long preferred by the wealthy, Pawleys Island is an upscale spot for those in search of a South Carolina getaway. Also appealing are the many golf courses, some of which offer unparalleled sea views. One of the better-known suburbs of Charleston is Mount Pleasant. The Raven L Bridge, an iconic part of the city, links the two destinations. Mount Pleasant is primarily residential, but it has a lot to offer visitors as well. Notably, Mount Pleasant is home to the Patriots Point Naval and Maritime Museum. This museum boasts retired Navy ships, many of which can be toured including the World War II aircraft carrier USS Yorktown. Mount Pleasant is also a wonderful place to get outdoors, and the walking paths at Mount Pleasant Memorial Waterfront Park and Shem Creek Park are scenic places for that. Rainbow Falls Rainbow Falls is an incredible 140-foot drop into Cox Camp Creek. The trail to the falls is around 4.3 miles long and it is difficult, so only experienced hikers should take it on. The waterfall is technically Camp Greenville property and those wanting to experience it must register at the camp offices before setting off on their trip. Part of the trail involves crossing a creek via a large fallen tree, so this is not for the faint-hearted. Huntington Beach State Park With over 300 bird species, Huntington Beach is considered by many to be the best birding location in South Carolina. Guests can usually spot alligators at the park's freshwater lake. Art lovers enjoy the juried Atelier Arts and Crafts Festival held every September in the former residence of Archer and Anna High at Huntington. The philanthropist and sculptor are also responsible for the neighboring Brook Green Gardens. Congaree National Park Named after the Congaree Indians that once lived and fished in the area, the National Park is an interesting mix of forested area and floodplain swampland. Here, you can find some of the largest cypress trees in the world, which are well worth a visit. Bird watching is another popular pastime, with plenty of songbirds and the occasional hawk to be spotted. Most trails are for hiking, but the Cedar Creek Canoe Trail is a unique way to explore the landscape from the water.
Charleston Visitors can immerse themselves in the history and grandeur of this port city, which helped shape the United States. Grand homes and architecturally astounding churches line the charming streets in Charleston's historic district, while plantations give a sense of the South in yesteryear. During a stay in Charleston, visitors can tour the fairy Talesk Angel Oak Tree, which is thought to be one of the oldest living organisms east of the Mississippi River. It stands 65 feet, 20 meters or 6 stories tall, is 28 feet, 8.5 meters, in circumference, and an area of 17,000 square feet is shaded by its tentacular crown. The largest branch reaches 187 feet. The South Carolina Aquarium, another big state attraction, is also located in this lovely coastal city. Myrtle Beach Miles of pristine sands line the coast of Myrtle Beach. But equal draws all the varied tourist attractions, from award-winning productions in golf, to shopping and great food. Families love the slides, splash rides, pools at local water parks and major hotels, and of course, relaxing on the beach. This city is perfect for vacations with the kids, romantic getaways, golfing weekends, and fun trips with friends. Thanks for watching my video. Please, comment, like and subscribe.